Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another battle in Arena 6. So right now, as we're waiting for the loading screen, uh, yeah, there it comes. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be waiting for my elixir to go to 10, and this time we're playing a level 9. Now, it's surprising that level 9s are this low in the arenas, because he should technically be in Arena 7 by now, but it becomes quite annoying to handle when you deal with or, uh people who are in arena 9. So right now I drop my musketeer and my spirit goblins and then I put down my cheap tank which is my knight. Now at the same time he puts down his balloon so I'm gonna zap that to refocus my musketeers um to refocus my musketeers aim on that balloon and that works out quite nice quite nicely and he also gets good value off of his own musketeer because it, not only does it take out mine but it also takes out my witch. So right now I'm just uh, waiting and then he drops his hog rider. So I put down my musketeer to counter that. We're probably going to lose a few hit points off of that but nothing too bad. So right now I decide to be a little aggressive and I put down my giant skeleton. And at the same time I also put down my um, goblin barrel. And I was thinking of zapping that minion horde but because the minion horde is attracted to, to those minions at the back. So, it, there's no reason to actually zap them. And we get a huge chunk of damage on that. And right now, uh, again, I'm just waiting for my elixir to reload. So, I'm thinking of putting my witch at my back, at the back, which is what I um, end up on doing. Right after he puts down his witch. Now, his witch is level 3, which is not, like, a huge advantage compared to ours, but he'll still get some hit points off of it. So right now he's coming down the lane with his giant, which my witch and knight and my musketeer will counter perfectly. Now, I also end up taking out his level 3 witch, and at the same time, I'm able to do some damage on his musketeer. Now, this time I decide that it would probably be a good idea to zap that, because not only does he have his hog rider coming, that minion horde, if left uncountered, is going to do a lot of damage. And this is where he gets quite a bit of damage off our main tower. So we just really need to make sure that we can hold the tower and um, make our defense as good as possible. And this is where we decide to be a little aggressive on his other flank and try to go for the 3 crown. That way he's not so much focused on my main tower at the bottom. So here we get some decent damage off of his tower which keeps us at a good advantage. But I don't think we'll actually be able to get the 3 crown. Yet again, he drops his minion horde, which I'll counter again with my zap. So, the game's looking pretty good right now with only 5 seconds left. And that hogger is just going to get 1 or 2 hits. And that is going to be game. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and rate, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thanks for watching!